I'm showing you today how to make pins extremely fast using a really cool tool called Relay That. So this is a Relay That tutorial that uses templates that are already created for you so that you can make pins lightning speed fast. So before we go any further, definitely subscribe to my, my channel. I'm Teresa from PinTrafficPower.com and hit the bell so that you can receive notifications every time I load up some new video tutorials. Let's get right into it. So let's take a look inside of Relay That. When you first log in, the first thing you want to do is to create a new workspace. And in order to do that, you'll need to choose a preset. So you can choose any of these presets and it doesn't matter which one, quite honestly. It could be any color that attracts you but you may just wanna start out with a blank light layout or a blank dark layout to keep things simple so that you don't get, get lost in trying to make too many choices. And before you do anything else over here, go in to these three dots up at the top and then choose rename workspace. So right now it's renamed as a blank light. I'm just gonna do, um, a test workspace but rename it to be your workspace for whatever you want and then you will remember what what workspace that you are working in then click the three dots again and you're going to go into the workspace assets this is where you're going to spend some time going through each section each part so that you can cater this to your brand choosing whatever fonts and colors that you want so i would first click on these fonts and it's gonna bring you right over here to font one, two, highlight and ideas. If it does not do that, just go ahead and click on fonts in this menu. And then from here, you can either choose from a list of fonts by scrolling down and choosing any one of these, or you can just upload your own font file if you don't see yours available. And then go ahead and do it for font two. And the highlight is for any words that you want to stand out as a different color. You can always choose your colors right here for each of your fonts. So I may wanna change this to a black color and I can change font two to be maybe a white color, whatever it is that you want. And then for the highlight, maybe I want that to be something different and you can change your hex code here or your RGB to be whatever branding colors you have or just choose something up here that really fits uh, your brand really, really well. So once you have that done, oh, by the way, this box is a pretty cool feature where it puts a box, a highlighted box. The only problem is that you cannot adjust the box, but that may be something that you wanna turn on once in a while, or if you wanna remove it, just click on remove color and you're out of there and done with it. The ideas section is really cool. So if you don't know what kind of fonts work well together, or you don't really have a particular font that you're using for your brand, you might wanna choose one of these. So you may say, you know what, I'm gonna just pick that because I really don't have a font color and this looks really nice together. So you can choose that font pairing and it's guaranteed to work well for you. And it automatically changes it over here in your font one and font two section for you and updates. If you ever wanna change it again, just choose from the list of fonts down below or again, upload your font and then you're ready to go. Now, after you get your fonts changed, come on over here and choose your photos. You can either upload from your computer your photos or you can go to the images section and you can look through the stock photos that are listed here. So you can type in anything. So let's say that I want happy and I can upload any kind of images or that I want um, by choosing the upload section over here. Or I can just pick from the images that are part of the stock photos. And there are 3 million of these that are pulling over from sites like Pixie Bay Pexels and Unsplash, which are all completely royalty free and ready for you to use. So it is very legal and legit for you to use them. And let's say that I would like to use this one. So I'm gonna just drag and drop any of these that I think are great into this photo one, two, three, and four section. And then I'll have this part of my brand assets complete. Now these can change um, later on, so don't worry about it, but at least it gives us some kind of a starting point to make it go faster for you when you start creating your, um, your pins. Now we have the screen wide, the screen tall, and other things that you can also fill in the space as well if you want. And again, if you, if you uh, 
want to, you could even check some in this brand section. I'm not real clear about these photos and why they are included in the brand section other than maybe it is something that might look like it could work for your brand, but it's just a, a limited selection of, of images. And I think this will be developed out a little bit further as we go. You can also choose from the icons section and put it into anywhere where it says photo one, two, three, four, or the icons as well. So maybe I just want a smiley face over there. And I can do that if I would rather have that instead of an actual photo. For these other icons, one, two, three, and four, I can upload my own by clicking here and then upload from my computer if I have any kind of icons. Or I can just drag and drop from the list of icons that are listed over here on the left which is pretty handy. And maybe I want to do some other types of icons and I'm just gonna type in flowers to see what else is available and just pop them in. And this is what, what I could just use to start with. For the backdrop, this again can be a photo or it could be an icon, whatever you want it to be. So I'll go to stock photos and I'll just use a, a photo as a backdrop to see what will happen here. So we'll just pop in one really fast um, for text one, that's going to be your pin title or your text overlay, so leave that blank for now. Text two, if you want to, this you can make this your domain name. So I'm just going to type in my domain name right here, pintrafficpower.com. Text three, I'm going to leave it blank. The button text is your call to action. So it could be something like read more or it could be, you know, shop now or buy now, or a uh, free download, or uh, free whatever it is that you're offering for free if you have a sales funnel. These colors down here can all be changed by clicking on this, and then maybe I can choose what I want for border, or an overlay, or a line, and if I am not happy with these colors that are down here, I can change my hex color code or RGB, and then I can also just move that circle around to find a different color that I like better. And don't worry about what each of these mean because it's gonna become a little bit clearer later on. And you'll start to see some of these assets change on here. Don't worry so much about this because it's it looks strange and unusual at this point because of this little, um, brand square that's happening and that's going to get better and, and change as you go along if you want any kind of a backdrop it could be any color that you want and go on from there so i check mark everything and then you can see what it all looks like the border as you can see goes around the outside the overlay is something that you can choose if you want it or not and it can be any color um, and when it is check marked on, it would be black. And if I uncheck mark it, it would be removed. Maybe I would like a white overlay instead. So then it just chooses the white. The line, if we uncheck mark it, you can see that the line was right here. That line is something that is on some of the layouts. The section, if I uncheck mark it, this was highlighting a certain section. It's the section will not always be where the text is, but I can also see that maybe I don't want that text to be red because if I do use a red section, it's not gonna work out. So I'm gonna click on the text and make a quick change right there to font um, the highlight and change it from red to something that I can really see pop out because I can tell right now that that just will not work in case I do have a red section behind the words at any point. The shape, if you uncheck mark it, you'll see what that looks like. They go behind those icons. So maybe I want something that looks a little bit better than that and I can um, decide what that will be. It could be white, it could be black. If we click on the check mark, you can see what that is. So maybe I'll just do that for now. And here is a stripe. If we uncheck mark it, you can see that the stripe is right here. I'm okay with it being black. The backdrop is what's happening behind. That could be any color that you want. 
and then go from there. So now you have pretty much all of your brand assets in place. This actually works better than a function up at the top, which is the magic import. Now at this point, the magic import is not working the best. It's supposed to take all of the information off of your website and pull it in as the assets automatically for you, but it's not picking the correct colors. It's not picking the correct logos. Um, so I would not use that function. And by the way, the best place to put your logo is one of these icons. So you could upload your logo and it would fit really well right here and just upload that and you can pop your logo in right here and that would work great. So let me find an icon maybe that says logo and we'll pretend that this is our logo so that you can see what that looks like. So we'll just use that for now. Okay, let's go on to our next step, which is to click on the icons. And then from here, make sure you scroll back up and go underneath social and click on the Pinterest pin. Now you're gonna be able to see all of these templates, which are really, really cool because you have all of your layouts done for you. These are all pin templates, completely done for you, completely automated, and you can just start making some adjustments as you go. So for example, if I want to start with this one, if I wanna use this text, I can change it to something else. So maybe this one, I would like it to say, um, something like this. Maybe I'm wanting to target some uh, holidays or events and maybe I would like it to say that. Now, if I want that to be highlighted, maybe it would be best to pop out the words Mother's Day. So I'm gonna highlight Mother's Day by putting these curly brackets around it. Do a shift with the bracket on your keyboard and then you can see that it turns to a different color. If I don't like that color, I can always go back to the fonts and scroll up to the top and change it. Another thing that I can do is I can put on anything down here that might help as well. And it looks like they're all check marks, so that's okay. So if I wanna change that color, I can do it really fast and I have some presets already loaded up there and that looks a little bit better. Here, I might wanna change the photos. So I can just go back to images and stock photos and I could say um, Mother's Day and see if there's any kind of images that would pop up or even just flowers is great. Now notice that all I did was took this image and I dragged and dropped it over here. If I click on that image, it gives me some of these filters that are really cool to use so that you can change this to be different. So you have the opportunity to change all of these stock photos to cater it towards your brand and to actually make these images look clearly different for you than it does all of the other people who are using the same exact stock photos. So this is how you can still use these stock photos and be able to make them very, very different for yourself. So I'm gonna choose that one. And the, the filter here that I clicked on was this contrast. And you can decide what is gonna work best for you by choosing different filters at that point to adjust your photo. Now, I don't really care for that icon up at the top, so uh, I'm gonna change that. And maybe this icon, I would rather have it to, to be my logo. So I could upload my logo, or let's go over to the images icons and let's just pretend that uh, one of these logos is my own current logo and then check mark it to turn it on. So that is right there. What I wanna do is move that over to the next spot over. And maybe that's what I would like to use as my logo to have it there. This right now is set with a text to as a domain name. If you don't like that, that can be adjusted. And this is text three. So let's say that I have another uh, targeted keyword phrase that I would like um, 
to use. I'm just going to type in something quickly there. And again, you can put brackets around any part of this that you want to, to make it stand out. And sometimes that's kind of fun. If you can't see it very well, then you can make that and change it to a different color. I can also decide that, you know what, I would rather have these changed around and be different. So I'm going to move them and swap them around. put them in a different location and see how that goes. See if it looks any better. Okay. And you just keep making some adjustments as you um, go along here. So we have that. If I don't want text four, I can remove it. And that removes that little spot. So I'll show you where it was. You have to look at it closely. It was this white text over here. Now I could make that instead my logo. And I will have to change the color of that text to be something different, um, which means I'll also have to change the color of text two and three because they all go together in font in this font. So I'll have to change it to black, which means I need to change all of this as well. So in order to handle that better, I'm going to just change the color of this um, shape. And it looks like it did not do it. So let's try a different one to see if that makes a change. So that was it that made the adjustment. Let's get a better color and then we can go back and change uh, the text to be something that will be seen a little bit easier. So I changed it to white. How about we change it to black? Okay, now I also could just make that white or even a light gray or a light, you know, I could even change it to a pink, something that's really light that will work. And maybe it goes along with the picture in the background to make it easier. So you can adjust things to where it fits your brand, but also according to a holiday, a season, or maybe if it's for a particular person. This photo I'm not a big fan of uh, because it really is an on point for Mother's Day. So let's find some uh, something that is more looks more like Mother's Day and we'll just pretend that that is it. This could be your product, one of your products, or it could be a stock photo, wherever you want that to be. So here I can even change this filter to make it look a little bit nicer as we go. And there's even different hues that you can use as well. So I think we're going to choose that, or we can come in here and look for um, something, something else. To get some ideas of what else we can use. So maybe we'll just go with that. That looks kind of nice and then go from there. So that's a really, really easy way for you to quickly change that up to make it a pin that you would like to use. And that's it. If you like your design, just click on this save design button up here. And then you want to make sure this is changed to a JPEG and click the download button. It'll drop down below and you're ready to upload it as a pin. So I hope this helps you. This was a really, really quick, fast and easy tutorial on how to use Relay That to make your Pinterest pins lightning, lightning fast. And I will show you one more cool tip, and that is to don't forget to go back to your layouts. And with all the adjustments you have made, you now have tons and tons of other layouts that you can pick from. 
And what I typically do is I like to choose from what is already there that looks good first that I don't have to make a lot of adjustments on. So here's a great example. I don't have to do a lot of adjustments. I can just change out things quickly or maybe there isn't anything that I wanna change and I'm just ready to download. So that's a quick tip where don't choose the layouts first where you're gonna to have to make a lot of adjustments and, cha and changes. Start with the ones as you scroll down where you really don't need to make any adjustments and changes at all. And you're good to go. Like here's a good example of that where you don't have to make a lot of adjustments and changes, but it looks clearly different. It's completely different. And it is considered a brand new original pin that you can use on Pinterest, which is exactly what the algorithm is looking for. And that's what it wants. Here's another great example as well. So you can always come through here and pick the, the layouts that are gonna work best for you immediately without having to make a lot of changes. And then for the other layouts, you can go ahead and make some quick changes and adjustments. And then you can go through again, see if there's any other layouts that are ready to go with the adjustments you've already made and choose those to download and then choose another layout to make an adjustment to and then go ahead and download those. So those are some quick tips in order to help you do this a little bit faster and easier so that you don't get caught up on clicking a layout like this and I've got to change everything on here which is going to take me a little bit more time. I would rather go into one that already looks really great and just download it. And I can see if there's any others that already look great. And then I can make a quick adjustment and that's it. Maybe I just wanna swap out the image and I could have several of these that are original pins. And then I can also change out the text and that works great too. So definitely, change out the image, the text, the colors, whatever it is that you want, but then change your layouts periodically as well by picking first the layouts that look good without a ton of adjustments and then moving next towards, you know, changing some, some minor details on an adjust, uh, making adjustments and changing some minor details. Here's a good example where I only have to change a couple of things on this one. And then I'm ready to download it and see what other layouts are available as well. So have fun with this tool. You're gonna really make pins a lot faster. You could probably create pins in less than two minutes. Time yourself. Many, many people are able to make these pins, oh, about 100 pins in an hour, which is remarkable. We've never, ever been able to create pins that fast ever before. So have fun using the Relay That tool. And if you want the tutorial, there is a complete step-by-step -step cheat sheet that you can grab and download quickly to help you walk through the tool and be able to make your pins even faster yet at lightning speed. There's gonna be a link down below this video. Click on that link, go grab those cheat sheets and get started immediately.